All right, hey guys, Ian here with Photocycling, back with another video for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you a video of how to attach these SW Motec bags to the the bike. So what I have here is this is the day pack by SW Motec tank bag. This is the uh, SW Motec rear bag uh, tail bag, um, and then this is the set of Blaze saddlebags made by SW Motec. I also have a Krieger setup, which I'll do a separate video on how to attach those, but I wanted to show you guys how to attach this to that bike. I have an installation video that talks about how I install uh, this on here. This comes all comes with the SW Motec uh, package when you purchase it. It is bike specific, so when you order it, make sure to uh, um, uh, choose your bike so make sure that it can be installed and, and it works with your bike because these pieces are sent separately from the bags themselves. And you will see that in the installation video if you're interested. And then um, here is the tank ring adapter. This is also bike specific for the to any SW Motec bags. What's nice is that you just need one adapter and their whole entire line of tank bags will fit right onto this adapter right here. I did not do an installation video for the tank ring adapter itself because it's literally four screws. Take out four of the original screws that came with the bike and you put these four screws in and that you have yourself a uh, tank ring adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that um, you'll need are four straps and these four straps right here are what's used for this tail bag right here and I'll go over how to, to um, attach those to the bike in a minute and then you'll need the two rods for these things and the two rods are right here these rods are what goes on the bike um, for the saddle bag the blaze bags now the rods What's nice about them is they actually come off the bike so it keeps the bike nice and clean when you're not riding around town and you are not traveling. So that's why I chose this particular setup versus other uh, bags at some cells. But I'll do a review on these later and I'll talk about that later. But for now, let's see how it goes on the bike. All right, so I got the straps laying on the seat there, but what's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on first. So we have a right side and a left side marked here so left side looking from the front of the bike so it just clicks on like this like so and you can tell because this arm is supposed to sit down like this because that's where the saddlebag is going to get attached to we'll do the other side as well all right once it's on there now the bags go on okay the saddlebags have these plastic clasp right here and these will actually attach to the bike right here on the back okay that's where they will attach um, they also have this velcro piece right here this sits on top of the back seat of the bag and then that tail bag sits on top of this so right now I have it set to my bike so uh, you can actually adjust it because you can see right here it's adjustable to the size of your back seat of your bike so, um, and then these right here are going, is where the rods will st um, um, go into. And the rods go right in here to keep the back from clashing and hitting the bike. And this holds the bag on so it doesn't fall off the bike while you're riding. And again, I have it adjusted right now because these straps do pull back and forth uh, depending on how far the other part of the class is from your bike. All right, so that's how the saddlebags go on. Now you can see this top part is what holds the bags in place. And this also, the rods right there, you can see they're right in there. That helps hold the bags from hitting the tires. 
and then the plastic glass themselves helps the bags from falling off of the bike and sliding off. There's also D-rings here that you can actually hook straps and strap it to your bike even more for more security. Um, and so now let's see what the tank bag looks like getting attached. So first we got to do these cords right here. All right. So first, two straps go through these two loops, and this is part of the installation. These two loops are actually came uh, they came with the kit, and they get bolted to your tail tidy or your basically your license plate at the bottom of the seat. And then the other two go through either your passenger foot peg or some kind of subframe on your bike. Okay, so we got these two straps back here now. As you can see, they are hooked up to the loops that were installed previously. And that's the back underneath the seat. And then the other two straps are hooked up right here. As you can see, I just looped it through the um, passenger foot peg on this particular bike. But I'm sure that you'll find something around your bike that you can attach this to. So, um, so yeah, so there's that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the bag on here and show you what it looks like with the straps attached to it. All right, so the straps are on and they are nicely fed through this little clip right here. And these clips are really nice. Let me just pull this one off so you can see. But they, uh, they are spring-loaded right here, so uh, they're made of metal, which is super nice. And they, um, if you spring-load this, you can tighten the straps down. One hand is, pushes this down, and then the other hand is to pull this down to tighten the bag down. So um, that's how the, these bags are uh, tightened down. It's not perfectly balanced right now because I'm just doing this for demonstrations. But here is the other side of it right now. It's all nice tucked away. It's got these little elastic loops for your excess straps to feed through. So you can see it's nicely done there. And that's what it looks like with the blaze and the rear tail bag um, set on the bike. And then last but not least will be the tank bag, which is this one right here. And the way the tank bag works is that it's got this little adapter on the bottom. You can see right there. And this just lines up with the ring that I showed you earlier. Just like so, just line up on the bottom like that, and you press it down, and once you hear it clicks, it's on. It is so simple. I really like it better than the Krieger setup. Uh, however, the Krieger setup, I think, looks a little bit better than this SW Motec setup. I think, uh, I think I prefer the Krieger setup because it looks cleaner and nicer and more sporty, but um, what are you gonna do? Both setups work. Uh, this one gives me, I think, a little bit more space than the Krieger setup, but overall for long touring, this is what I would use from now on. But yeah, the tank bag itself, I really prefer the Krieger setup, but this is so easy to get on and off. So it has a little string at the front right here, and you just pull this, and the whole thing comes up. So it's very simple, love it. All right, and that's how, um, that's how the SW Motec saddlebags for the Triumph Street Triple gets attached to the bike. All right, I'm gonna to talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go do the Krieger ones now and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.